Welcome to my walk around video of uh, my CT70H uh, four speed Trail 70. This is a 1970 um, and it's in uh, candy topaz orange. I bought this bike from a friend of mine um, up in Phoenix, Arizona. He's a motorcycle transporter. Uh, he bought it from the original owners over in Salinas, California. Um, I didn't meet them, but the story that I have from them is they bought the bike new and it was stored inside a warehouse there for many years not running. When I got the bike it had about 2,000 miles on it. Um, it was not running. <clears throat> I discovered it had a problem with spark. I fixed that and got it running but it didn't make very good power um, and so I knew something was going on with the engine. So basically I did a full restoration on this motorcycle with the exception of painting it. I liked, very much liked the original paint. Um, I really like these bikes in original paint. Um, personally, um, they look good. They look good fully restored too. But this paint was really neat, and so I left it. Um, but everything else, uh, I did. So my process is to to disassemble the entire motorcycle, send all of the um, hardware out to be zinc coated. So all the and use all original hardware, of course. Um, I then send the engine to my friend Daryl Gunderson in Las Vegas and he rebuilds it completely. So it's a brand new engine. Um, he did discover that it had a bent uh, intake valve guide and that's why it wasn't making full power. So it was a good thing I did the engine. Um, then I take all of the um, chrome pieces and have them re-chromed by a guy here in Tucson, Arizona named Don Jose and um, he does a really nice job. I take all the aluminum parts to him as well. Um, and he polishes all the aluminum for me, which is a really big help. And then I um, source any new parts that I have to have. Um, oh, all the black parts that are on the bike, the black painted parts, are actually powder coated satin black. And that is done at Arizona Powder Coat in Phoenix. Um, the other thing I try to do with these bikes is to keep them as absolutely original as possible. So like the shocks are original. A lot of a lot of bikes that are restored, you'll notice that they have aftermarket shocks, which, which is actually a good thing um, because they do perform a little better, but I think the original shocks just have a better um, style to them. So I disassemble the shocks, get them all polished, and then uh, put them all back together. Um, I put a brand new OEM muffler assembly on it. Had to do that. They're always pretty much rusted through, no matter what you do. Um, I think I mentioned all the chrome pieces were redone. Um, I left the speedometer on this one alone. It was in very good condition, so that's that's going to stay the same. I didn't reset that or anything. Everything works on the bike as it should. That's a clock I like to install on them. I'll leave it on here if the new owner's interested. Um, new OEM horn, cables, uh, things like that. This bike is all stock, um, with, with one exception. Um, probably the jet in the carburetor may be... Noah, that's actually factory number 65, so this is stock there. I just remembered. Um, the only thing I didn't do is I'm not running a 45-tooth sprocket. I'm running the 35-tooth sprocket on the back, which is what comes on the three-speed models, uh, which gives you a little bit taller gearing, obviously, for cruising the neighborhoods. You don't really need such low gearing for riding around on the street, which is all I, I do with these bikes. Um, I left the... Oh, um, handlebars are nice and straight original. Uh, they're the, in the original Honda Chrome, which is a flash chrome process. It's different than the triple plate chrome um, that you'll get on other components like down here on the spark guard and the engine cradle. And even the exhaust um, heat shields have been triple plate chromed. So this is a little bit of a less shiny chrome, but I think it looks really nice uh, on the bike's original, so I leave the bars alone. The last thing um, that I did here is the seat. This is an original seat pan. Um, all the bikes I have, I make sure we have an original seat pan. This has been um, powder coated and then recovered um, using the original foam. You can be the judge of whether or not that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, the original foam on these bikes, <clears throat> excuse me, is latex and it's a little softer. Um, and I like it. Uh, and it was in decent shape. Uh, the original toolkit is in place also, which is nice. The um, hubs and wheels obviously come apart, um, and then I paint them in the correct Honda Cloud Silver. 
So that's cloud silver on the hubs and the rims. And of course they get new tires and tubes with the original trail wing tires. And I'm very picky about the tubes. I get the Honda tubes. I get them from Partzilla, uh, which is about the only place I can find them where they have the straight um, valve stem rather than angled valve stem. And they're an OEM Honda part. And I like those. Um, I would consider this to be a completely correct restoration or sympathetic restore, considering I didn't paint the bike. Um, and the only thing that is, hang on, okay, car going by. The only thing I didn't do, my son helped me build this bike. Um, it was the first project that he'd ever assembled. And he, for some reason, liked the um, zinc coated uh, wire loom there, which is actually supposed to be black uh, there. They're about $3.50 from Honda. I can include a black one with the bike if anyone's interested to make it exactly correct. I suppose if you were to enter it into a show, you might want that to be there. It might get pointed out. Um, but everything else from the carburetor, uh, the cable colors um, are, are accurate. Um, I guess I'll mention that if we're talking about concourse restorations, if there is such a thing for Trail 70s. Um, the high-low switch factory original would have had a gray wire. Um, although all the cables and wires would have been gray, um, but I use black here and the reason is that uh, that's an OEM Honda part and you can buy um, aftermarket um, high-low switches and cables, um, but if I can get them OEM from Honda, I like them better. I think the quality is better, they work better, and so that's what I used on this. Um, it's a minor thing, but some people might point that out. Um, they were originally gray and you can get gray, but you can't get gray from Honda. Okay, I think that's kind of the story on this bike. Um, oh, so anyway, I've had it about four years. We went through it and did everything to it. Um, oh, that includes like rebuilding the steering stem and the front suspension with all new components, um, repacked all the steering stem bearings. So the entire bike has been, has been gone through. And since we had the engine done, it has about 200 miles on it, all neighborhood street cruising. That's... Um, what we were using it for. I, I wanted one of every color of these and I, I had that a few times over over the last uh, 10 years and this one was just uh, um, just really liked the topaz uh, which, which is what drew me to this bike originally and why I did it. I'm cleaning out all my Trail 70s now uh, moving on to some other projects so uh, thanks for your interest.